hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl may welcome to diy by may please yes and on today's video i'll be showing you how i made this maxi dress i don't know whether to be showing you here or here <laughs> i'll show you how i made this maxi dress and if you want to learn how to do that please keep watching this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so like this video so that a lot of other people can actually find this video on youtube kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done that kindly leave a comment on this on the comment section and if you want to share if you make this outfit and you want to share the picture with me you are free to do so send it on my business page on maybelline collections or on instagram i will link it down below yes or you can also share on diy by maybelline on instagram also so guys if you love your girl please subscribe and keep watching yeah so guys i made use of four yards for this fabric and i had to turn it the other way around instead of the normal 60 inches it comes with i had to turn it because i want the length of this gown to be 62 inches plus 1.5 which is the sewing allowance that is 63.5 inches that is the length i want this gown to be yes then i also added extra half an inch and that is for my starting line yes so i am using the total of 64 inches for this gown then at the end of the sewing i will have uh 62 inches as the gown length yes so i am cutting the back first and i will use it to cut the front yes so watch as we transition into that so i've already cut out the back and i'll start taking my necessary measurements so you determine where you want your sleeve to be which you can see mine then i'll mark out the the starting point which is half an inch which i am doing right now yes so you make sure you know where you want your sleeve to be before cutting out the whole thing just like you're seeing me doing i've already calculated everything before cutting this out yes so the next thing to do is to mark out my shoulder divided into two and i will mark out my sleeve length which is 14. so i'll be using that half an inch to join the detail in a hat at that part that is my sleeve part yes i'll use the half inch to join that so i'll use my tail i want this to have a shoulder slant which is 1.5 but instead of going down from the certain point i went up and i marked down 1.5 as you can see right there yes because i need to join and i wouldn't want it to touch my necessary measurements yes so do not mind that uh, markings you see right there so uh the next thing to do is to mark out my neckline which is uh neck width which is three inches then i'll mark out the front neck depth which is three inches yes i'll use that three inches and i have the one of the back which is 1.5 inches then i will use my curving ruler to curve it like this yes i have the front and the back neck depth and neck width right there yes then i will slant it to the 1.5 inches which i came down with yes i have so many markings there so i was a bit confused so i had to be sure so i went uh down by 1.5 and i connected the line just like that to make it slanted so from there i will go down with the wideness of my armhole which is 14 inches yes i guess 14 inches yeah so i'm gonna go down by 14 inches and i'll mark it right there and i'll add extra one inch for the joining at that down part yes i added extra one inch for the joining that's for the shaping yeah allowance yes so after I'm, i was done doing that i will come in from that half an inch i'll come in by four inches i marked out to two inches because it will help me to connect the lines when i'm ready to connect it so i'll come to that part i will divide my hip into four yes and i'll add extra five inches as my ease allowance and extra one inch for my stitching allowance then i'll connect the lines together just like that yeah so i will go down by three inches and i will connect the lines together i will make a curve right there yes just right there because i don't want the joinings to be sharp 
so i'll make a curve right there like you can see me doing so if you want this to be bigger you can add extra inches as you want but i made use of five inches for this one yes then i will measure whatever i have there and i will use it to mark a straight line just like that to the edge or to the selvage of this outfit to the length of this outfit yeah so that is what i'm doing right here connect the lines together till you get to the length of this gown so once i was doing that once i was done doing that sorry i had to cut this off guys i was having so much issues with my blunt scissors i never knew my scissors was this blunt i have lots of scissors but i don't know why i had to leave them to get, get keep getting blunt yeah so i'll have to cut this out let me do it off camera okay so i am done with the back part it is time to work on the front part so this is actually unfold but it is more than the uh the back part so i'll make sure i have extra three inches which you can see me marking right here because it actually has this uh detailing at the center front of the yeah you can see me doing it right here it has this type of detailing at the center front so make sure before you cut out your front part just like i did right here you have extra three inches that is on fold though you have extra three inches and you mark it out just like this before you now get the same measurement you have at the back part yeah so make sure whatever you have for the back you add extra three inches while on fold just like you can see here so i have three inches there and i'm marking it out like this in order to indicate so that you guys will understand better so after marking it out i will now place my back to the front just like this yes so i'll make sure my back is at that same line as the uh three inches i marked there yes i'm placing it very close to the white check yes so guys after i was done placing i figured out that three inches that i went down as my neck depth for the front is too small so i had to go down by extra one inch that's making it making it total of four inches then i'll extend the straight line to the three inches for the front detail just like you can see this uh, then i'll use my pin to hold this down because i wouldn't want any to shift in any way yes yeah, so after tracing out these lines i will use my chalk to trace out the line also at the front part yes i just want to make it clear to you guys that's why i had to place the back just like that so i have to connect the lines just like this yes and i will cut my neck line just like you can see right here remember to take off the back before you cut the front neckline yes so this uh, back to this blunt scissors let me cut out this off camera and i will get back to you guys soon so at this point i was done cutting it out and i had to keep it aside and i want to work on the uh the f uh facing yes i love working with facing a lot instead of bias tape if you follow my channel very well you know that i love working with facing a lot yes instead of using a bias tape so if you don't know how to do that you can watch this very very closely and you can see how i do it and i believe you will learn how to do this just by watching me but if you want me to do another video a separate video on how to perfectly cut a facing yes kindly drop the comment on the comment section i will now gladly do that that is if i see as much request as i want maybe about 10 people if there if 10 people request for it i will surely do that so i'm done cutting the front neckline and i'll go over to the back and i was done doing that already i did that off camera yes because i don't want this video to be too long yes so i'll pin this down so that you guys can see it very well and i will use half an inch to join the facing to the outfit yes so now it is time to cut the detailing at the round sleeve part yes so i'll measure whatever i have there and i will double it by two yes i'll double it into two after measuring the round sleeve yeah 
so i'll get a fabric i i was lucky to see this it was part of the pieces i had to cut out so i will use this as the um the detail in there so i'll put this on fold measure out what i have as the round sleeve measurements here's what i measured out before and i'll add extra inches maybe one you will still cut it out if it's too extra yes yeah, so i'll add extra one inch or as as many as you want and i want after folding it i'll have about two inches yes that is after folding then uh what i'm gonna do is that i'll mark out five inches yes i'll work, mark out five inches i'll use half an inch that's if i fold it i'll have 2.5 then after joining i'll have two inches yes i'll have two inches for the detailing right there remember you're gonna put this on fold so i'm cutting out the extra yeah if you want it to be more bold you can go as high as three inches and having uh an extra half an inch for the joining yes so after i was done cutting i'll have to fold this this way and what i have is two in 2.5 inches then after if i fold in my half an inch for the joining what i'll have is two inches yes so i'll use this to cut out another piece because it's for the two sleeves yeah so at this point i was done cutting the two and let me show you how you are going to join this so have it in mind that you're gonna join this from the wrong side yes in order to have that effect you have to join it from the wrong side yes you can see but before i do that i'll have to join the shoulders before joining this and that after joining this that is when i can now shape in the uh the clothes yes that's when i will shape in the gown so i'll have to use my pin to hold down uh hold this down to uh, half an inch i'll use my pin i'm going to use half an inch so i'm trying to show you how it will look like and remember you are going to join this from the wrong side yes but before joining it to that round sleeve you will make sure you join the two shoulders of your gown yes make sure you join the two shoulders so guys at this point i am turning it to show you guys how it will look like after joining yes this is what i want to achieve after joining yes before i have to shape in the sides so guys at this point i was done joining the facing for the front neckline i've done joining it yes and i'm using my pin to hold it down and i transferred the markings at the right side of this fabric yes i have to transfer the markings there yes so i can see what i'm doing then i still have the markings at the wrong side so i am using my hemming gum to i'm going to use it to iron this down so that the detailing will stand very very well so i'll place my hemming gum as much as i can and this is where there is a lot of work you have to do this very very carefully place your hemming gum very very well and in order yes so watch very closely as i show you how i did this correctly and i did it i can't say it was easy it wasn't easy because you have to pin it down so you make sure you have a lot of pin yes make sure you have a lot of pin yes so i had to pin this down like if you turn it to the front there was a lot of pin so i had to pin this down very very well so after placing it i started pinning it down yes i gave about five inches space in each of the line yes i had to keep pinning it down as you can see me doing right here so at this point if you have not liked this video kindly like it because i know you're finding this interesting and educative yes educative education ah, whichever one yeah so at this point i was done pinning it down and i want to place my three inches together i want to put this on fold because i'll be running my stitch to the right on the right side of this yes so make sure you also use your pin to hold this down so at this point i was done joining it yes join this before you iron that was why i used a lot of pin to hold it down so it doesn't shake in any way or i iron where i wasn't supposed to iron yeah so make sure you join then bring it back again and you open it up just like this in order to create that effect you can see what i'm doing right here yes so make sure you have about 
1.5 inches that's for the center front make sure you have 1.5 inches on both sides you understand what i mean right yes make sure you have uh 1.5 inches at both sides making it the total of three inches i just want it to be equal so that you won't go and iron uh, two inches on this side and iron one inch on this side it wouldn't be equal and it wouldn't be looking so good so make sure you work with a lot of pin so guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so it will go a long way for me like this video turn on your post notification to get notified whenever i post new videos please always like my videos if you watch it because i know you love this video yes so and you are finding it helpful if you're still watching to this point yes so i was it's time for me to iron yeah so i have to iron this very very well still having my pin on yes because pins on because i will still take it out like this thing needs a lot of ironing it's ironing not uh, let me say pressing is it pressing or ironing whichever one just make sure you iron this very 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 well yes make sure you iron it very very well iron as much as you can because i think i did the ironing about three times to make sure it laps together yeah so i will take out my pins again as you can see me doing and i will still iron this thing again yes i will still iron it again yeah so just like you iron your gum stay or you iron your clothes gum or your pepper stay make sure you use that method to iron should i call it ironing or pressing whichever one yeah so i'm done doing that so so guys bringing the back again i w i didn't attach the facing yeah because i noticed that uh, it will be very 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 tight so i want to create this detailing at the back also yes so i want to have a pl uh, i want to make it in a way that i will attach a rope at the back yes and the person will be tying it at the back after yes so you can actually decide to have a slit but i don't want mine to be a slit i want to attach a rope yes though i'll be using a very tiny stuff to show you how to do that but if you want it to have a slit yes I, that is what i'm trying to show you right here if you want to have a slit apart from the detail i'm making there if you want to have a slit i will show you how to also cut out your uh, rope this tiny rope that you can place and also attach your button if you understand what i'm saying and you will do that while also joining the back uh facing yes so but i don't want mine to be a button i want it to be like a rope so that if the person should tie it it they will make kind of a bow tie uh, effect at the back after tying the rope so but i'm going to show you how to after creating your slit effect just like you do to kaftan i will show you how to achieve the achieve the button holder yes so i would want it to be about one and half inch yes one and a half inch then i'll cut it out just like this i'll use the rest to create the rope at the back yeah that's for later yes but i want to show you how you do yours then you fold it like this yes then you run a stitch yeah just fold it look very closely you fold it like this then you run a stitch on this yes and after that you now place it on the right this is the button holder i don't want mine to have a button holder i want to make a rope so you place it like this and you place it on the front part and not the other way around yes you place it like this so that you can join it while joining your facing so guys at this point i was done joining the front and the back shoulder together yes so make sure you work with your iron in as much as as i don't like ironing i had to iron a lot on this part on this girl yes i had to iron a lot here yes so first of all i had to open the, sh the shoulders that i've already joined i iron it then i'll now i had to bring it back again and iron over and over again so this is time to work on the detailing at the round sleeve yes i've already ironed this out and i've already joined the shoulders so the next thing for me to do is to place this at the wrong side as you can see me doing right here i'll place it at the wrong side and i'll use my pin to hold down half an inch which i'll be using to join this together and 
after that i will take it to the machine to join it properly then remember to iron after joining and this is what we have here yes so i've already done i am already done joining so i want to use my pin to hold this down again so that i can be able to shape in the sides yeah so this is what we have here yeah then i'll turn this to the wrong side yes because it's time for me to shape in this outfit yes so the next thing to do is to hold this in place very very well with my pin yes so guys at this point i was done joining and i forgot to show you guys that you will have to come up after hemming the down part you have to come up by 15 inches yes you come up from the down part you will go up by 15 inches yes because it has a side slit yes and i use one inch to shape in this outfit then from that 15 inches you have to fold it half half an inch then you make a stitch right there i guess you know how to do that so remember this has a detail which comes like a rope which you can see right here i've already joined and ironed this and the length i have here or will i say yeah the length of the rope i have here is about okay 60 inches plus 29 inches that is a total of um 89 inches yes and the width is 1.5 inches so you cut out 4 inches then after joining you have 1.5 inches yes so you get your gown and you place it very close to where you ran your stitches where you shaped your fabric where you had the stitches of your shaping of your outfits you put it very close to that area and after joining it you you tie it this way in order to have that detailing right there yes so guys i'm already done with this outfit and if you find this video helpful please remember to like remember to subscribe and remember to turn on your post notification to get notified whenever i post new videos yeah so i'll also get the second one and i will use my pin to hold it down at that area also yes make sure you are not stitching on the part where you have your ss allowance do not stitch it right there so guys i changed my channel name from mabelis crafts to diy by mabelis so don't get confused it's still your girl yes it's still me yes so bye see you on my next video